let's chat about a really cool case I just had. A first time pregnant individual came in with uterine contractions and SROM, which is spontaneous rupture of membranes. On ultrasound, she was noted to be double footling breech. That means the baby is breech position with feet first. This is an example of footling breech with one foot down by the opening of the cervix. Double footling breech would mean both feet are down there close together near the opening of the cervix. Now on an earlier ultrasound in her pregnancy, it was suggested by the person who read the ultrasound that the patient may have had a uterine didelphus. And this is a uterine didelphus, where instead of having one complete whole uterus, you have two complete uteruses with two individual uterine cavities. One side of the uterus, the left side, would have a fallopian tube and an ovary, and the right side of the uterus would have a fallopian tube and an ovary. But then you can go all the way down and you'd also have two individual cervices and then sometimes even two vaginas. However, on exam, it was thought that she only had one vagina, so it wasn't really clear exactly what uterine anomaly the patient had. So based on the high likelihood of her having a uterine anom anomaly, plus fetal malpresentation being double footling breach, and SROM term, early labor with contractions, the decision was made to proceed with a primary cesarean delivery for the safest mode of delivery in the situation for the fetus and also uh, the safest for a uh, patient. So we went back into the cesarean section, uh, baby came out, double footling breech, looked great. Um, we closed up the uterus and then we started to investigate to see what else we could find. And indeed we found that she had a uterine didelphus. And this is a, an example of a picture, you can actually, I got this off of Google, um, but this is a picture of what, similar to what we found. If you don't want to see a, a picture of a uterus in, in, during surgery, then you might want to go ahead and scroll on. So what you're seeing here is the uterus um, on the left side of the patient, which is actually where our patient's pregnancy was located, was in the left uterus, um, with one fallopian tube down here and one ovary, which is probably behind it. You can see down in the middle where the uterine incision would be. And then when I kind of poked around to try to see if there was anything else hiding behind uh, that uterus, we pulled up the second uterus that had a fallopian tube and an ovary coming off of that as well. That was a non-pregnant uterus, so it was much smaller. Uh, again, just as in our patient, the, uh, the fetus and the placenta were both in the left uterus. After talking to the patient about what we found, um, I talked to her about doing an exam in the PACU to confirm whether or not there were two vaginas, since she would be under spinal anesthesia and be recovering from that anesthesia and have good pain control. So in the PACU, we did a speculum exam and indeed found two vaginas and two cervixes to confirm that the patient has complete uterine didelphus. Uterine didelphus is rare, occurring in about 0.3% of individuals with a uterus. And here are some associated pregnancy complications. Pause to read.